Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last Sephora haul was three weeks ago. I have shopped the Sephora sale against my best intentions. I am sorry for these and all my sins. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my purchases, do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back. And I know I sound nothing like I usually do. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I went to New Orleans with the Creators and Friends trip. We had such a blast. However, I came back sick and I'm the only one that's sick. And I think it was because of this child that was on the plane coughing up a fit. And he was coughing, coughing. And you know how kids, you can't trust them to cover their mouths or whatever. So I think that's what got me sick. It's not COVID, I took my test and all that but I definitely got hit with like a cold or a flu. I didn't have like a temperature or anything, so don't cry for me, Argentina. It's more of a cold, so I have a little bit of a cough, but it's more like mucus in the back of my throat. I know, TMI, but I have to let you know why I sound like this. So if you see any odd editing or any weird jump cuts, just know I'm off camera fighting for my life, all right? I don't really feel that bad. Honestly, it's just the voice that's still a little bit deeper, which actually I don't mind it. So how are you guys? Welcome back. If you are back, thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new, I know, a long intro, but I just needed to get that out the way. I am back and I shopped the Sephora sale against my best intentions, okay? I did not, I did not intend on shopping the sale at all, at all. In fact, the only things that I mentioned I may get were hair products, which I actually did get the hair products and I'll share them in a bit. But then I went on this creators and friends trip, right? And you're around influencers and you're getting influenced yourself. So we left on Friday, April 5th. So that's when I was down for the count girl. But I went to Sephora with who else? Kelsey Brianna J and she is an influencer, okay? And that's kind of one of the worst things you can do is go in store with a fellow beauty lover because you guys are gonna be swatching all the things, trying out all the things, and influencing each other to get things that you did not have on your list at all. And I told Kelsey, I was like, listen, I'm not shopping this sale, I'm not interested. And it so happens that the Sephora in New Orleans, close to Bourbon Street, had a lot of the new releases. So we got to swatch and play with them before we picked them up and guess what we have something in store for you guys so we are doing a collaboration video so stay tuned for that we're trying all the products that we picked up together I know we chose items together that we were gonna try out for you guys so I think that will be a fun video so stay tuned but let me go ahead and jump into the purchases because I know that is what you're here for all right let's talk about it so I have a couple of bags all right don't judge me I'm going to start out with the hair care products because these are the things that I actually intended on picking up. So let me dive right in. First thing I grabbed is from Crown Affair. This is the finishing gel. Oh my God, if I can recommend anything from Crown Affair, it would be this finishing gel. Now I know gel sounds a little off-putting. You're like, a gel? No, listen, it is more of a light gel cream that you apply to flyaways just to tame them. It doesn't feel sticky or thick or anything. It's very lightweight and it tames the flyaways. And I have a lot of flyaways because I have breakage, I have blonde hair, so I need to tame the frizzies, right? This is perfect for that and it is very lightweight so you can brush it out at the end of the day. I even use it when I do ponytails to slick my hair back and then I use my edge control just on the edges but this slicks back the rest of my hair. So I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. It's pricey, but a little goes a long way and you can stretch it. And if you can get a little bit of a discount on it, now is the time, but I really love this. So I knew I was picking this up. And for some reason, this brush in the store always intrigued me. It is their brush number one. It is a dual bristle brush for healthy scalp and silky strands. So there is boar and nylon bristles. It's a paddle style brush and I have hair in it. And actually, I don't think they gave me a new one. So I actually had to wash it, all right? I did an in-store pickup order, so I just ordered and picked up in-store. 
that's just easier for me to do because then I avoid shopping around and trying out the things and influencing myself to buy all kinds of crap. So I just do a pickup order, right? And then I can use my affiliate links. Ha ha ha. If you're shopping the sale and you want to support me, that's an easy way to do it. Just shop using my affiliate links. And I have a general link to Sephora that you can use. Anyway, so I shop using my links, right? I pick up in store and it's easy breezy. I just go right to the front. I avoid all the TikTok kids, right? And I grab my order and I'm out but I feel like they didn't give me a brand new one because there was hair in there. So somebody returned it or somebody used it in store and left their crusty hair in there. So I had to get it out. This brush is pricey, but I kind of wanted a nylon bore bristle brush just like this to brush my hair. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the crown affair one. And it's the only purchase that I think... I kind of regret because it's pricey but I got the discount so minor regret all right then I grabbed the leave-in conditioner okay this is a heavy bottle and it's pricey this I picked up because I like the gel so much that I feel like this is going to also be a lightweight cream product I will use this for when I wear my hair curly. I wear my hair primarily straight, honestly, because it's just easier that way. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks in a ponytail when it's straight. So I don't necessarily wear my hair curly as much, but the summertime is coming around and I tend to wear my hair a little bit curlier. And I think I'm going to try to go to the pool a little bit more often this summer just to cool off but also to get exercise in because swimming is such a great way to exercise so I think I'm gonna get some more swimming time in and therefore my hair is gonna be washed a lot more so I think I'll get some use out of this leave-in conditioner I am kind of excited to try it low-key but let me tell you one of my favorite things I picked up it's from JVN I think this is a popular hairstylist he released a line I don't know his name though and I'm not gonna look it up right now I don't have the energy but I saw this in store see this is why you don't shop in store but this time I was actually happy about it so this is the complete nourishing shine drops and I love a good shine drop but I don't love a hair oil that gets my hair greasy and then I have to wash it because my hair is already greasy I have oily skin and an oily scalp so my hair gets oily really easily so I try to push my washes out to four or five days if I can get away with it but I also like the feel of a hair oil because my hair uh, uh, sometimes it's dry because again it's bleached right so I'm recovering from that even though it feels really good right now and this hair oil is so surprising because it's so lightweight oh my god it's so thin it's almost like a dry oil but not even that oily it is really lightweight. It has this, I want to say it's like a rose fragrance. It's like a really light, flowery, airy fragrance. Let me see if they put the fragrance here. Limonene. Okay, what else is here? Elliptica Protrasta Extract. Moringa Seed Oil. There's rosemary, maybe it's the rosemary. Sunflower. I smell the sunflower. Okay, Metafoam seed oil as well. There are a lot of oils in here and esters and all this stuff. It smells good, but it's a very light fragrance. So it almost adds this airy, fresh fragrance to my hair as well as hydrates it and helps to sleek it down like the frizzies, you know? And it doesn't feel oily at all. Like my hair doesn't feel greasy. It just feels light. Just like that. I love it. I love it. So I'm so happy I picked this up. Happy to have it now in my collection. I'm over the moon. All right, next I picked up K18. K18 has been making its rounds. I usually use Kerastase, but I've been noticing that some of the Kerastase products that I use are a little bit too heavy for my hair. So they leave my hair a little bit too hydrated, a little bit too greasy. So I reserve them for like really dry days or days where I'm wearing my hair curly, not when I'm intending on wearing it bone straight. So I have been hearing so many great things about the K18. So I picked up the shampoo and conditioner. I already have it in my bathroom 
and I love it. It's a weird thing because I don't know what it's doing to my hair. I just know that my hair feels good and it feels a little bit healthier and it feels like it's reducing the damage almost, but it doesn't weigh my hair down. So I really like it so far. I have the Damage Shield pH Protective Shampoo and Protective Conditioner. I use both in tandem and they seem to be really pushing K18 at Sephora because I got so many of these samples. This is the Leave-In Molecular Hair Repair Mask. I have so many samples of this. I don't think I need to even buy a full size because for every pickup purchase, I got like two of these. So I'm good. I'm good on these little travel sizes. And let me show you the size of this because it's small, but since it's a leave-in, you don't need a ton of it. So I can get about three uses out of each of these little tubes. So I am happy to have them. I'm just gonna unbox all of them and put them in a little, like a little corner, a little stash and use them as I see fit. And I only use them on the ends of my hair. So not on the roots, just on the ends. And my ends have been feeling really great. I'm going to do a touch up I think in May because I have a trip to Jamaica planned for my high school reunion 25 years shut your freaking mouth shut your mouth right now yes can you imagine I know I know 25 years but we graduated high school at 16 so mind your business yes I'm 41 so we have our 25 year reunion the end of May so I'm going to touch up my hair right before that because I think I'll be due for it because it's growing out. But it's a balayage, so, you know, the dark roots are still a thing. But, yeah, the K18 stuff I think is really good, especially for my hair, even though I do love the Kerastase. I did also pick up a full size of the leave-in. I probably didn't need to, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, but I have it and all the backups of those little minis and... Yeah, I'm going to use them all because they're really good. And if I wear my hair curly, I just use a little bit more. I also grabbed, remember I said Kerastase? So I grabbed the Genesis hair mask. So this one is a little bit lighter than the other one that I've been using, which is the Hydrant one. This one is a little bit more lightweight. It smells really good. And these hair masks, I'm telling you, are really good for helping treat damaged hair. And my hair was damaged, okay, damaged because I was bleaching it myself. And I definitely don't recommend that, you know. It's better if someone else bleaches it for you, a professional. They know what they're doing. They do a better job. So my hair was really damaged and now it's recovering and I feel like I'm getting my length back so I am really happy about it and I must say the Kerastase helped a lot with the breakage because it strengthened my hair as well as hydrated it so I didn't get as much breakage so I owe everything to Kerastase and K18 and I think K18 is definitely doing a really great job right now. I'm still on hair okay and remember I told you the only things that I intended on picking up were hair care products and I meant it until Kelsey but I grabbed the Kerastase Genesis shampoo as well. This is meant for oily hair. So I'm hoping this will kind of keep my hair light and bouncy and not weighed down. Again, I feel like the hydrating one was for dry hair, which I did have really dry hair at the time, so I needed it. And now I'm switching over to the one for oily hair so I can, you know, get a little bit more movement to my hair and it's not as greasy. So I use this, I think, I use this to, yeah, I use this to wash my hair, which is why I think it feels like this right now. That and the little oil from JVN, so. Okay, Mr. Genesis. So again, Kerastase, really love it. I also grabbed the K18 Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. I can't use this right now, okay? Because right now I have a Brazilian Botox, which is a straightening treatment. It's an anti-frizz treatment. It washes out after a few weeks. But for right now, I don't want it to wash out too fast. So if you use a clarifying shampoo, you're going to kind of strip your hair. So I'm not going to use this now, but I have it for the future, okay? Because I wanted to try out their detox clarifying shampoo. I also ordered the Dry Bar Hair Mask for Blonde Hair. So that is on its way because, you know, blonde hair. And it looks a little orange right now, not gonna lie. I am due for a toner 
because the Brazilian Botox or any keratin treatment is going to change the color of your hair. It's going to make it a little bit deeper and a little bit more brassy. So you have to be careful with it. I don't mind the brassiness and I get compliments on my hair color all the time. And I don't know if it's because you don't usually see someone with my complexion with this hair color necessarily, but I like it and people seem to like it even though it's orange. They probably don't know the difference, so I'm loving it, but yeah, I'm gonna do the touch up in May. I'm gonna be fresh and blonde, but there you have it. Those are the hair care products. I know what you're here for. I know what you're here for. The makeup. You're ready to talk makeup? Let's talk about it. Here's the second bag, alright? So this is the makeup bag. And we're gonna start... Let's start with the primer, which is not really a primer, it's a sunscreen. So I grabbed the Tatcha the Silk Screen. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50 PA++++ all the pluses. It has zinc oxide 10% for the sunscreen ingredient. And it's not new, but it's new packaging. So I haven't tried this out yet, but I've heard terrible things about the previous packaging. It was leaking and running all over the place. But this is a little bit different. So it has a no mess applicator. It's a squeeze applicator. And it felt great in store. Again, this is what Kelsey did to me. She, she had me walking around the store looking at stuff and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. Summertime is upon us. I'm in Florida anyway, so I need to set my sunscreen game up. And yes, Tony yelled at me. Tony, I see you. I'm listening. You hear me listening? I picked that up, all right? And I'm telling you I'm serious about it. For good measure, I picked up a travel size of the on-scene sunscreen because I went to New Orleans with my full size, okay, in my little travel bag. And I'm like, I need a travel size. So I picked up a travel size. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 40 PA++ water and sweat resistant. I'm all about it, but I have the full size, but I figured I needed a travel size for when I do travel. So that's my facial sunscreen. And what I like is that I can wear a sunscreen layer and then put my skin tint or my sunscreen, whatever, with a sunscreen additive as well. So it's like giving me the best of both worlds. And then, cause I'm nosy and I wanna be in the know, I picked up this little duo I saw. And this is how they always get me, okay? Show me a little set, a little duo, a little sample size that I can try out and I'm all about it. Because sometimes I'll see products and I'll want to try them, but I'm like, I'm not gonna use all of that. So I'm happy to see that brands are doing more travel size products or smaller sizes, because that to me is a little bit more practical, especially if you have a large collection. Sometimes you just wanna try it out. You don't need to commit to the full size. So I picked up the duo, all that to say, I picked up the duo of the Drunk Elephant Deep bronzy drops that everybody's been raving about, apparently. And then they also have the O Blues rosy drops. That's cute. That's cute. I don't get it, but it's cute. So I have deep bronzy now in a little sample size. And you know what? It feels good. It feels different from the, what one did I get? The Glow Recipe one. That is more of a serum with a tint to it. This is more of a base product or like a primer, but they say you should be mixing it in with like your primer or your foundation or your moisturizer. I don't know that I need to mix it in with anything. I feel like I can use it as a primer. Does it say you have to use it with anything? Yeah, it says serum, oil, or cream. Don't tell me how to run my life. I can do what I want. I can do what I want and then the rosy one is just like a rosy bronze. I would say it's more pinky. They're both cute. When I swatched them out, they were cute. They were lightweight, so don't expect like heavy pigment from them. But I think they're like cute little additions to a moisturizer or your foundation or even as a base product is what I'm thinking. So as like a priming step, and I think this little duo, this little size is perfect for me because I don't need like the full size at all, right? Now this next one I did mention I was going to get, right? So House Labs redid their blushes. Well, they redid the packaging. I don't know that they redid the formulation. They dropped the price, gave you less product, but the amount of product is in line with all the other blushes on the market and the price point is also in line. So 
you're getting less product but really and truly you didn't need that much product to begin with when they had the really large compacts right so now they added two new shades brought back original shades dropped two added two new okay so i picked up the new ones so i grabbed oh god where's the new one the new shade i used it just now oh my god yikes so the new one i picked up is french rosette it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I applied it with the Sigma Powder Sculpt Brush F44. Just a light wash of color. This brush is really good for just a wash of color. And I like it. It's a very subtle shade. I think it's a good addition to the line. I feel like it will work on medium skin, lighter skin, and even my skin tone. And then I also have Fire Moon, which is also a new shade that I picked up before. And I also like that shade. It's more of a nudie, like a nudie peach. I really like it as well. But then, being who I am, I'm like, you know what? I actually like the travel sizes. I like the smaller sizes. They're easier to travel with. And I've traveled with the House Labs blushes before, but they're bigger. They're bulkier. And I'm like, eh. So I picked up two of my favorite shades to travel with. So I grabbed the pink shade, which is Dragon Fruit Days. Everybody loves like a bubblegum pink, right? And then Watermelon Bliss, which is the red. Love this. I thought about picking up Pomelo Peach, but I was like, why? When I have French Rosette and then also Fire Moon, which I feel like meet the needs for a peach and a nude. So that's what I got. And then Kelsey, Miss Kelsey, I'm going to bring her up a lot. She influenced me to get one of... That is not the box, girl. Where is the box? I don't know where the box is, but... I grabbed one of the new Rare Beauty blushes. She was so excited. This is the first thing she looked at in store. She was like, all right, let's swatch them out. She was like, eh, eh, eh. And I'm like, actually, none of those go. So I don't want none of them, okay? They all look like highlighters. They're shimmery blushes. I was not intrigued. I was not impressed. I didn't want any of them. And then I swatched the highlighters and I was like, oh, the formula feels nice. So I picked up one of the shades. I picked up Love. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of it on. The packaging is kind of, why is it so big for this thing? But I think I heard that these were break-in because they're baked blushes so they're a little bit more fragile you know the formula so oh 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 so there's a little shimmer to them it's in this dome shape so apparently they crack a little bit more so the packaging may be because of that so oh yes so kelsey's getting three shades i only picked this shade up because I thought it was pretty and I thought, you know, I can manage a little bit of shimmer. Not too much, just a little bit. So, mmm. Again, Sigma F44, which I think is a nice airy blush again to apply this product. Oh, and I do have a discount code now with Sigma. Sigma was one of the sponsors on the trip. In fact, they were our main sponsor. And they included a new brush set, which I really love. And I'm going to share my haul from that trip as well because there's some goodies you need to see, okay? But Sigma included discount codes for all of us. So if you wanted to sign up for their affiliate program, we were able to. So now I have a code with them. Fancy Face will get you a percentage off if you wanted to try out any of their products. Their brushes are definitely where it's at. And also like their brush cleaning products. So their brush mat is what I use all the time. So definitely if you're interested, use my code. Again, Fancy Face for a percentage off. Then can you guess what else I grabbed yes you know you know what I was grabbing I had to get the new Urban Decay face bond of course I did because why not I was going to pick this up anyway but Urban Decay said they were sending it to me so I was holding out right and then me and Kelsey swatched it in store and I was like sold so I got my perfect skin tone match I'm actually wearing it right now but you're gonna have to hold on because Kelsey and I bought this together so we're gonna be trying it together and giving you our thoughts but I had to try it I had to test it out beforehand to get like a vibe and then I came home and Urban Decay did indeed send me one so they sent me shade 24 but I picked up shade 25 shade 25 is medium deep cool olive sounds perfect right like that's my perfect shade and then 24 is medium neutral which actually still works but it's just a little bit lighter 
This one works perfectly though, shade number 25. And this is the one I match myself with in store. 24 still works though, because it's still not like full coverage. It does have like a medium coverage to it, but 24 or 25 can work. And I'll tell you this, Kelsey's shade is 24. So I'm a shade up from her. So 24 for Kelsey, 25 for me, but both of them can work. And I swatched both of them, right? And I was like, eh. 25 is more me, especially with the summertime. I'm gonna get a 10, so I need to get like the deeper, richer shade. That's the face product that I got. I didn't pick up any other foundations or powders or anything. Like I said, I wasn't on the market for it. That's not what I'm here for. However, guess what? I did it. I grabbed something from Too Faced. So this is why I didn't want to go in store, right? Because now you're gonna see things that you didn't need to see at all. Because when you're online, you're just looking for what you know. You're not necessarily browsing through all the new releases. Plus Sephora doesn't really do a good job with their new releases. But anyway, we saw this. So this is the Too Faced Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. Chocolate Soleil is the, I guess, the range. Because you know they have like peach whatever, peach snaps. <laughs> But this is their Chocolate Soleil line. I think their bronzer line is Chocolate Soleil. The shade I picked up is Chocolate Caramel. Both Kelsey and I picked the same shade. There are only four shades available. The other shade up is really rich and dark, so if you have deeper, richer skin tone, that might work for you. It doesn't go like ultra deep, but for the range, the third shade would be our matching shade. The other shade is just too light. So this right away smells like chocolate. And I think for sure they have cacao in here, right? Yeah, there we go, cacao fruit powder. So that's where the smell comes from. And low key, it makes you wanna lick it cause it smells like that chocolate. Mm, and then they have orange fruit extract in it as well. Okay, I can get the hint of orange. Have you ever had like a truffle with orange filling? That's what it smells like. It smells really good. And it does smell when you apply it to the skin. It lingers a little bit, but it's not overwhelming, but you definitely smell the chocolate. So this is one that me and Kelsey will be trying out for you guys. This is one of the things that we picked up together. Most of the makeup products we picked up together, okay? Because she made me get the Say Concealer. And this guy was not on my radar. The first Say concealer that I tried, I was like, ew, it's thin, it's terrible, I hate it. And I swatched this in store. She already picked it up. She's like, girl, I have it at home. I haven't tried it yet, but I have it. So we're gonna try it together. This is the Radiant All Over Concealer. Radiant just throws me off. I'm just like, Radiant, ew. But when I swatched it in store, it's not really Radiant. It's, it's Radiant-ish, cause it's not like a matte finish, but it's more like a skin-like, satin finish rather than like a glowy glowy finish so I picked up shade number 14 yeah yeah 14 because I swatched it in store and I made sure like we swatched it in store added to my cart to make sure I had the right color and that, why does it smell a little bit like vegetable oil I know say is all about clean beauty I don't know about all that but it is what it is, climate neutral. I do like climate neutral and you know, 1% for the planet, I'm all about it. Plastic negative, I'm all about that. But can we have preservatives? Cause the smell is a little funky. But I'm excited to try this out. So you'll see that coming up. I also picked up this little sponge from Makeup Forever. I should have picked it up during the Makeup Forever sale cause they had 30% off girl. So that's when I should have picked it up. But. I decided to get it anyway. It wasn't that pricey and I'm rouge so I do get 20% off So my discount even though it's not like the best sale ever It's still the best of the sale. It's 20% versus like 10 or 15, but this sponge is a duo sided sponge so it has the silicone side which is not really if silicone it's more like a silicone coating over the sponge and then you have the regular sponge you can dampen it but the silicone side is meant to you know blend things out without absorbing product and I like it I wanted to try it it's cute so I grabbed her so we'll try that out but um Urban Decay sent me their sponge too hold on here's their little sponge that they sent so I have this to try out with their little face bond 
y'all she's a flat bottom beauty and she's squishy and nice so excited to try that out remember when beauty blender was the sponge now she's not anymore everybody else has a sponge all right let's talk about brushes as well because i did pick up three different brushes before i get into the lip products because you know lips so I grabbed the Fenty Beauty Kabuki Buff Foundation Brush. I originally went to grab their 110 Foundation Brush, which is this paddle style, because I use it to blend out my concealer. So I have another one of them. I don't know why I showed you the dirty one, but here's the new one, right? It's kind of like a paddle style shape, and she's perfect for blending out concealer. So I did grab this. Let me put it in my collection right now. I can throw the box out. And I grabbed the Kabuki one because I saw it in store and I'm like, ooh, ooh, let me try it out. I do like it. I do like the Fenty brushes for sure. It's a little scratchy. They're synthetic. It felt a little scratchy. It's scratchier than my other complexion brushes, but it's not overly scratchy. And I feel like it's because I'm so used to Fude and really soft, luxurious brushes that any kind of scratchiness, I'm going to feel it, right? Other people probably would not feel it, but I do. But I do like the brush. I do like how it applies my complexion products. So definitely loving her. I picked two up. That goes to show you how much I like it. And then I grabbed this interesting brush that was overpriced from Makeup Forever. It's their number 118 straight. I don't know what that means. What do you mean straight? It's a foundation brush. It has this teardrop shape, right? Do you see that? So you can get under the eyes to blend out concealer you can get around the nose it is really soft it just felt so good in store that i had to grab it i just had to i didn't mean to but i got caught up in the excitement of it all it felt so good i was like oh my god and then i beat myself up because i'm like you could have gotten it at a much better deal during the makeup forever sale but it's a cute little brush and i haven't tried out any no i have tried out makeup forever brushes like back in the day remember their kabuki the black and white one i don't know that i've tried out their other brushes but i'm excited for that one all right time for lips you think it's time for lips let's get into lips because that's where i excelled at sinning okay no let's talk about eyes first yeah let's do eyes and then we'll get into lips so one eye product i know so I haven't been well two I well three I picked up backups of my one coat wow from Huda Beauty I love this mascara it's just the one that I use religiously yep and one for travel but I picked up a travel size because I said it made sense to have a travel size so I have backups here I just love the mascara it hasn't run out really and i think it's because i'm going between two because i opened one for travel and then one to have here i have duplicates of things that i like to travel with and i still owe you a video talking about the things i have two of but that's neither here nor there just know i picked up a backup all right but the real find in this whole purchase is from Too faced again i know kelsey and i were trying out the little you know the bronzer stick and we were like oh what else they got and we saw their two new palettes these are mini eyeshadow palettes based on their other what were they called born this way palettes i think i have two of them and i really like them right so I was like, oh, let me swatch them out. They have a warm version and then this cool tone version or more, you know, neutral version. I said, let me swatch them. Girl, girl, when I swatched this, it was love. They're so smooth. The mattes are so smooth. The shimmers are really beautiful. This is like a perfect little travel palette. I can see myself just grabbing this and traveling with it. It's so easy. And I almost got the other one, but I didn't like the warm shades. I don't love warm eyeshadows. I'm a cool eyeshadow girly. Like, give me a neutral. Give me a, oh, a cool tone. I'm all about it. And this is perfect for travel. It's really thin, but it's really sturdy at the same time because it's plastic with cardboard yeah it's plastic with cardboard it's a snap closure i really like it has a little mirror i really like this and like i said the eyeshadows feel really good so kelsey and i picked this up kelsey was like girl what and i'm like mm -mm. so we picked this up this is what we're gonna be using in our collab video now i did test out the makeup by mario new cool tone palette garbage straight trash 
Toss it out. Toss it out. Don't even. Do not pick that up. Straight garbage. Straight trash. I know, I sound terrible, but the eyeshadow formula leaves a lot of to be desired for me for me i know other people love it good for you high five i'm so happy for you however i no it's no not for me sweetheart no 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 so i swatched it in store and i know swatches don't tell the full story but girl they're so thin and so loose. The formula is just too thin for me. I know what I like in an eyeshadow. It needs to be a little bit thicker. It needs to have body, okay? I need body. I can't do thin because I ain't got time to be building up. And I know with that makeup artist life, you do light washes of color. I get it, okay? You want things to be buildable. And if you see red carpet looks, their eyeshadow, it's always eerie and light. It's always like a wash of color. It's never like pigmented like I do okay and I get it I get that and I, I I get the vibe and I want to be more like that one day but now is not that day okay I need pigment I need color I need body I need creamy I need thick okay so the Too Faced ones are much creamier and then last for the eyes right yeah yeah last for the eyes let's see yeah last for the eyes I grabbed some eyelashes. You guys know I love some false eyelashes, but these lashes that I have on right now, these are from Bright Lashes. Hold on, where's the box? So these were in our goodie bags, right, for the creators and friends trip, but they're actually from an influencer. She has her own indie brand of lashes, Angela Bright. So she created Bright Lashes. I know, so it's thebrightlashes.com. The style is Flutter. That's what I'm wearing right now. They're half lashes and they're so good. They are so good. They're so easy to pop on. You don't have to trim them. They're half lashes, so it's just pop and go. And if you have small eyes and you can't be bothered with trimming, these are ideal. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple more of these. But before I did that, I did grab a couple of the Sephora collection lashes. So these are their... Flutter and Stare Lashes. These are gorgeous. Also have the Fluffed and Full. I think I showed you these up close. I grabbed Fluffed and Full, um, Flutter and Stare, and Everyday Flare. And these were 30% off. I really like these lashes. They're lightweight. They feel good. They're nice styles. But of course, you have to trim them, right? And I tried one out, so I know I love them. So I grabbed a couple more. So that's it for the eyes. Now we can dive into the lips because I went kind of OD with the lips. Let me start out with what I'm wearing right now. This is from Dior, okay? So Dior released, I believe these are new. These are the Rouge Dior Couture Color Lipstick Floral Lip Care. Is that what they're called? That can't be, right? The website, they're called the Rouge Dior Refillable Lipsticks, but on the box, it's a different name. I don't know, girl. Are they not new? Am I new to the game? I may be new to the game, but I swatched these in store. See, this is how I get myself in trouble, right? So, I picked up a couple of shades. And by a couple, I mean four. Don't judge me, okay? So, I picked up the shade Nude Line. So, Nude Line is number 400. It's a deep chocolate. Oh, it's a chocolatey brown. It's so good. You know I love a dark chocolate, right? That's like my favorite color to wear. Then I picked up Rayonate. Wow. Rayonate. Rayonate. These are all velvet finishes, by the way. I think that's what made them different for me. This is like a really beautiful orange. I can't wait to wear this. I love an orange lip. And then this one is Mystere, which is like an orangey, like, uh, huh, what would you say? Like, a, mm, an orangey brown, like a caramel brown. This is what I have on the outer edges. That's the color I'm wearing. And then on the center, I have ooh, the shade Rose Rose. Rose Rose? Rose Rose is a lighter nude, but it has a peachy hint to it. It's not really a rose. So I used it to create a little bit of an ombre. And this velvet feels so good on the lips. It's so cushy, but it looks like a matte lip, right? But it's so comfortable. Ooh, I didn't even put a gloss. I didn't feel like putting a gloss. So comfy, so cozy. So I picked up th those four colors and 
They're $49 a pop. You heard me? Hello? Hello? Or Dior, let me talk to you. So Dior has like the Dior line, the luxury line, and then it has the backstage part of it, right? Which are cheaper products. And I feel like Dior is over here trying to break the bank because, excuse me, what do you mean $50? $50 a pop. So essentially, I got each of these for $40. Because they're $50 a pop. Anyway, I'm not going to hurt my head enough because... I'm going to tell us that the color nice. I'm going to tell us that the color nice. The formula nice. They're nice. But I will not be buying another one. I tell you what. The colors are nice too. Like the velvet's stunning. But I will not be purchasing another one. No ma'am. Anyway, I'm at my top. But another expensive one. I'm going to pick up. Come in and know what do me. Here what I say. I'm going in and out. I go to the Sephora at Sawgrass. Sawgrass Mills in Florida. And I actually met a subscriber there. So if you're watching nice to meet you she was like hi are you fancy face and i'm like yes i am she's like hi nice to meet you and i'm like oh my god first of all i'm in there no makeup because i'll tell you right now if you meet me in person i'm wearing no makeup shorts flip flops and a t-shirt more than likely okay that's how i live my life all right but i was like i was so excited to meet her but the sawgrass mills sephora it's Sawgrass Mills is like this tourist destination for all the shoppers. If you wanted to go there, it's like a whole um, outlet mall as well because you have all the high-end stores. Ah, it's a whole production when you go there, right? But that means they tend to have, they're not like Aventura because Aventura Mall, that's the high-end mall, okay? You can go get all the high-end brands over there. But Sawgrass tends to have some of the high-end brands too. So they had Westman Atelier, which I think Westman Atelier is trying to do something. But anyway, they're in store. And I picked up one of their new lipsticks. All that to say, this is the Lip Suede Matte Lipstick. I got shade, Christ have mercy, Rue. It's a brown. And this is like the, I'm not going to put it on now. Duh. This packaging is so obnoxious and stupid. Why I have this whole ass packaging? For what? For what? And it's heavy. But I mean... And then you got to twist up by holding the little thing here. It's awkward. It's awkward, Gucci. Gucci Westman, fix it. Okay, this is stupid. Why? This is stupid ass packaging. But this color is like the perfect 90s brown. And I love a 90s brown. Okay, nine. does that sound weird? 90s, a 90s brown. So I'm all about it. I've been chasing this 90s brown since the 90s because I went to a mall in Jamaica I want to mall the name again. Top side, uptown side, and I'm going to go over there. And there was this girl in a pharmacy trying, because pharmacy is like where we would get our cosmetics, you know, whatever. She was trying on this brown lipstick, and I was watching her, and oh my God, she was so pretty, first of all. And then she put on this lipstick, and when I tell you, it looks so good. It was a 90s brown, and it was a velvety finish. Since then, I've been chasing that brown, and I don't know if I'll ever match it because I, the memory is not, you know, vivid, but I remember that brown, and I've been chasing it ever since. All right, I'm going to talk some more about things. So YSL, let's keep luxury. Where YSL decided they were going to do these new, what are they called? Love Shine. So they have the lip oils, the Love Shine. And now, wait, not the love shine. What am they called? The candy glazed, right? And them have the other things. Them other oily padis things, right? But they released this new line, which is called the High Shine Caring Lipstick. But it's called the YSL Love Shine, right? And it's meant to be a less pigmented version of the candy glaze, but still give you like a shine to the lips, but not like crazy. And I picked up two of the shades, you know, because for shits and giggles, I love my YSL. I love them. I have the candy glazes. I have the original Volupt oil and shine, all the things, okay? So the two shades I picked up are 07 and 04. Can't tell you the names. And what I don't like about these is that, I mean, it's the same packaging as like the others, but now it has this like pink in the middle. And usually they have a tint of the color that's inside, but these are just the same color. So now there's no differentiating them without opening them up or looking on the bottom. So four is, 204 is just a nude, but it doesn't look nude, okay? It looks 
clear. It's very clear. So you don't need multiples of these. I did not need to get multiples of these. These are almost like a lip balm <clears throat> with a slight tint, but like a very, very slight tint. The 207 is the darker, richer one, which is just going to look like my lip color, honestly. I'm not going to put... Mm, no, no, don't put it on. I did try out um, four, and it looked a little bit glazy on my lips, for sure. It almost looked a little milky, like a little silvery, just a little bit, not too much. But I'll have to just be mindful of that, because, you know, it, if you wear something that looks milky, it can look off. But I like them, but they're not like, oh my god, you have to get these. Like, one shade will be enough. That will suffice. You'll be all right. So, you know. All right, let's go into the lip glosses, because you know I got lip glosses, right? So, first up, Say. Yeah, I'm all about the Say. So, I got the Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oils. You know I love lip oils. Don't talk to me. Do not judge me. And Say has lip oils, so I want to try them. And I'm done. I'm done with lip oils after the other ones that I'm gonna show you. But I'm done now, I'm done, I'm so over it. I forget who it was, but someone did a short, someone that I follow, she did a short and she was like, guess which product I'm using? And she had the poll and I'm like, I don't know, but it looks cute. And she said it was the Say Lip Oil in Push. So this is the brown. And I'm like, okay, let me try it out. Should I put it on now? Let me try. Uh-huh, it's definitely a brown, but Mm, it's like I'm into it like it looks juicy in the swatches from what I can tell but I haven't tried them out yet I'm excited this one is bounce which is a rosy pink I'm excited about these two I don't know I only got two shades I didn't I didn't want to do what I usually do which is grab too many shades I tend to grab all the shades so I didn't overdo it even though two is still kind of overdoing it and then guess what I did I did a silly, silly thing, but I have no regrets. So, Gisu released new lip oil shades. Their original one was a bust, okay? It looks so good. Let me get it. So, here she is, right? She is so delicious looking. She's curvy. She's golden. She looks like she's dripping in honey. And that was what pulled me in because they're like, this is our honey-infused lip oil. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes. And girl... It never smelled like honey. It looks like honey. It's cute. But the smell was just like, I thought there was going to be some honey. Oh, did I crack it? Jesus, Lord, don't crack it. Out. Don't crack A lot of mercy. I thought there was going to be like a honey fragrance because their hair oil has a little bit of a honey fragrance. Well, does it? I don't really know that it does either. But I was hoping there was some honey, but there wasn't, right? The color is cute, but the scent wasn't there. Anyway, they released these new shades and I picked up three of them all three of them yes I did so these are their honey infused lip oils but they now have different scents okay like I said I picked up all three because I'm enough I'm enough but look at this look at this first of all I'm gonna have to actually read the box because the print on these girls so tiny and I know I'm old but no I can't barely read that they're really small come on so this is the mango passion punch and look at it doesn't that look juicy see this is how the lip oils get me look how juicy that looks and then you called it a passion punch what it smells better it does have a scent to it now it still has a little bit of a, a oil scent like a oil like a cooking oil what kind of oil i'm using it let me look grape seed oil jojoba seed oil safflower seed oil they do have honey in here apparently, but I don't smell that. But you smell mostly like the jojoba and the safflower and the grape. You know what? It's mostly grapeseed oil that you smell. Yeah, now that I'm like thinking about it. So it smells like an oil, right? But now they have the scent added to it. So I'm more enthused. And the color, you have that orange tint. It's so good. It's going to be so good for the summer. And then look how freaking sexy does this red one look. So this is the strawberry sorbet. Oh my god. So the strawberry sorbet has a, like a strawberry candy scent. Really pretty as well. And then I didn't think I was going to get this one. This is the watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Right? It's the shimmery one. And ooh. It smelled like watermelon, but like a spoil. Like the watermelon spoil. 
It's oats and other sun. You know when you have sliced watermelon, you're at a cookout, and then it's the end of the night, and like you pack it up, and now it kind of got a little sour because it's been in the sun. Smell like a little bit like it gone, bud. Yeah, yeah. But it's cute, and the shimmer in this is so pretty. It's not glittery or anything, but for some reason, this shimmer looks so good. Oh my god. So I'm so happy I got this. I'm so excited, guys. You don't even understand. And then, because I'm enough and plentiful, you guys already knew that I was gonna get the Clarins Lip Oils, the nude shades. I think these are on Sephora now, but I actually got these from Clarins, okay? And that's why I have this extra shade. So, if I'm not wrong, they're on Sephora. I think I saw them. But these are the new shades, and these are different from the original lip oils. The lip oils, ooh, let me grab one. Look at this, and this is how lip oils get me. You see how juicy that looks? Oh my God! So these are more clear, right? These are more opaque, the new shades. So they have more color to them, more pigment. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing because the formula, it doesn't feel the same, okay? I'll tell you that right now. So I have, let me read this, Lot of Mercy. Whoo! It doesn't say the color, but it's 22, 23, 21. So these are the shades, the yellow, the orange, and the pink. And like I said, there's more pigment to these. And it's still a lip oil, but it's a little bit different. Like, you're going to see more of the color. I don't know how I feel about them just yet. I wore one of them, and to me, it felt a little bit drier than the lip oils. And I that didn't... Mm, I feel like the pigment in it makes it feel a little drier. Not my favorite. Not in love. I wouldn't necessarily recommend these. I think you're better off getting the regular ones honestly truly if you want the experience of the Clarins lip oils but anyway I also grabbed the shade which one is this one why does it have this symbol on it like don't eat it what do you mean <laughs> it's like a jar with an apple and then it's crossed out so I mean I guess that means do not eat but this is hazelnut number 18 this is I think only available on the Clarins website and it does smell like hazelnut. It's a really good coffee scent, but it's also like a brown tint. And again, that shade is only available on the Clarins website, hazelnut, but I think the other three are now available on Sephora. All right, I think we can wrap up with, yeah, that's it, right? No, no, I have two more lip products and then we'll be done. Okay, okay, all right, get off of me, oh my God. All right, so, Kelsey, Kelsey, okay, you 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 caused this. So Kelsey was like, oh, you know, I wanted to check out the new Armani lip glosses. I wonder if they're in store while we were in New Orleans. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't even thinking about them. Who cares, right? Armani beauty who? And she was like, well, I want to swatch them. So we went over to Armani. She's swatching. I'm like, oh, let me swatch too. <sighs> Girl. So these are the Prisma Glass High Shine Hydrating Oil Infused Lip Gloss. Let me tell her something. Don't make Kelsey bring you gonna wear in a bakasha got in yo. So she inveigled me and I did pick up two shades. So I got number one clear. These are a really shiny lip gloss and they have a little bit of like I I guess a shine to it. It has to be mica, right? Let me see. There is a shimmer ingredient in here that is indeed prismatic, so it doesn't just look clear. But I can't see like mica or any shimmer in it. It just somehow looks extra prismatic. Do you see that on my hand? It's reflecting for some reason and I don't know why. So I picked up that shade clear and I picked up number five. And I don't feel like you need all the shades and some of them are a little bit too milky. Number five was bordering too milky. It's also a peach one, I didn't love that. But there's this little bit of prismatic, like, iridescence to them that I can't quite put my finger on. There's no shimmer in them, there's no, well, you can kind of see, like, micro, micro fine. I don't know what they put in here, but whatever they did, they did it well because it caught me by surprise and I had to pick up those two shades. Now, I don't think you need all the shades, one shade will do because they're not really pigmented, right? But there's something about them. There's just something about them. And then 
I got, last but not least, are the lip smoothies from Pharmacy. So I have the Apple one, I believe. I don't know where it is, but I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere because I bought it. Pretty sure I bought it. Hopefully I'll find it. But anyway, they've released two more, well, three more flavors. I picked up the, what is this? The Kiwi, no, the Pear Kiwi, which is a... It's not a very strong fruity smell. It's more lightweight. I think it's the pear that makes it lightweight. And then the other one I grabbed is the mango one. There's one more that smelled a little sweeter and Kelsey got that one, but I got the mango and the pear kiwi because they're lighter. And I do like the lip masks. They're really cute. They're nice. I like them. So I'm excited about those. So there you have it guys. There is everything I picked up from the Sephora sale and I think I did a pretty good job. Like I said, I was only getting hair care, blah, 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 until Kelsey came along and like ruined me, okay? She made me buy all this stuff, which I am not at all mad at if I'm honest because all of these products are fun. I kept it to one complexion product. I got sunscreen. I got lip products, which is where I did the damage, but I got one eyeshadow palette. I didn't get a mascara. I got one concealer, one complexion product. Like, I think I did a good job um, kind of tapering it, but I still spent quite a bit, okay, quite a bit, because these things are expensive, which is why I don't think the Sephora sale is that great, because, I mean, 20% is not that good, but I got some really good finds and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. Again, collaboration video coming up with me and Kelsey. We're going to try out the products that we have in common, right? That we influenced each other to pick up. We're going to try them on for you guys. So I'm really excited. Stay tuned for that. I will leave Kelsey's channel down below. She's kind of starting over. So we want to support our girl. I am kind of bullying her a little bit. I'm like, girl, get back on it because we need to see the content the content so let's go ahead and give her a little bit of a boost you know so she feels good about coming back i'm really excited for her and i said girl i'm gonna force you we're gonna do a collab so we have to do it together so hopefully that inspires her to get back on the wagon that is youtube it can be discouraging at times i know so i want you guys to go over there shout her out tell her you're excited to see what she has in store and stay tuned for a collab video i'm really excited i will also leave a full list of all the products mentioned down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up if there's an asterisk next to any of those links that indicates that it's a what affiliate link which means i'll get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through any of those links it's a great way to show your support for the channel because it doesn't change your sale price at all it just gives me a kickback for you using my links i also have youtube shopping links as well as discount codes and affiliate codes so you can get a discount while I get a kickback. It's a win-win situation So I really appreciate your support if you use my links and my codes I will also go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter Twitter I get kind of crazy over there I just say what's on my mind and Instagram is like sporadic But follow me along if you're interested and until my next video, which will be very soon. I'll talk to you. Bye guys